In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make and use a DIY bounce board. Bounce boards have a variety of uses, but the main use is to fill the shadow side that your key light when lighting a subject might not reach. For example, if you are shooting in a setting with natural light, sometimes turning your subject totally into the sun can wash them out or fill in the shadows so much you lose the dimensions that the shadows help create. Putting a bounce board near your subject so it can bounce light from the sun to your subject will help lighten those shadows. Another common use for a bounce board is book lighting. A book light is simply a bounce source of light that is diffused with another layer of diffusion. This is a general setup, but the light is commonly positioned 45 degrees to the bounce board and a diffusion layer can be jointed at the end of your bounce board when your space is limited. It creates an image of an open book, hence the name. This is a common lighting setup for directors and cinematographers as it gives a super soft light source that is very flattering on skin. The bounce board demonstrated in this video is 4 foot by 4 foot and approximately 2 inches thick. The materials you will need is any rigid white insulation foam that you can get from your local home center, as well as gaff tape. When I made this board, I actually made two of them and I purchased two 4 by 8 foot sheets of Duraphone EPS rigid insulation. This insulation has a reflective side as well as a white side once you peel off the protective green film that's on it. This just gives you more options in the future if you want to reflect the light instead of using a soft bounce. With your 4 by 8 foot insulation boards, simply mark the center on the 8 foot side and cut in half with an X-Acto knife. Now put the boards in the same orientation with the white side facing up and tape over all the corners and edges with gaff tape. I was pretty generous with the amount of gaff tape I used as I wanted this bounce board to last as it will be used on lots of sets as well as be thrown around over its life. In addition, the reason I used two sheets was I wanted this to have some substantial thickness because again, it's going to be used a lot over its life and then having a thicker bounce board as this material is super light and brittle on its own just really helped with that. The only recommendation I have is to measure your car or method of transportation for these boards as a four foot wide board is pretty big. I recommend to go with a three by three size as it will fit in a common SUV or truck. The reason I went with four x four is it's a common dimension when it comes to flags, floppies, and other materials. And the four x four size fit the floppies I have as well. Typically when loading my vehicle, I load the floppies at bounce board last and I have to put it on a diagonal. So this is my just personal recommendation that you kind of size it down to your vehicle or method of transportation. These boards are great for studio use. I'm currently using it right now to fill in the bottom side of my face as I'm bouncing a light right into the ceiling and then my brim of my hat is a perfect example of when to use this in situations like this. Typically, I would put it on the shadow side right here, but I don't need to fill my shadows just because I actually had to put up a neg here. I know these boards are pretty big and really any board is and it will take up a lot of space, but a good alternative for this if you're not looking to make one is to actually purchase a 5-in-1 reflector. These 5-in-1 reflectors commonly have a white side, a black side, a silver and gold reflective surface. Once I made this bounce board, it was a mandatory thing to have on every set that I was on. It has become an essential tool when dialing and lighting as well as producing super soft looks. Common ways that we have used this bounce board is primarily handheld in outdoor locations where we need a little bit more fill on the subject. Usually we have a subject slightly backlit by the sun and then the board is held at a 45 degree angle to the subject's face just so the shadows aren't so harsh. When we are doing interview setups, we commonly use the bounce board to book light the subject as well as unfill the shadow side when we need it. And that's why I made two of them. When we have the space and time, I usually set up these boards on a duckbill clamp or simply lean it against the stand in case. And this Frankenstein looking thing is known as a duckbill clamp and is commonly used to hold bounce boards or any other boards that you need to use. And this is essentially a vice grip that has a pin that will fit in any standard grip head as well as these clamps right here. So they're super flexible as you can see. So when you clamp onto the board, the actual bills of this board flex on it. And then commonly it's held into the grip head and the bounce board is sitting here and then that's bouncing your light. As you can see with those real world examples of those stills, but I actually want to show you some video of using each side of the bounce board in a common lighting setup. I 
made these bounce boards a while ago and I really just want to document the process of making them and share that with you guys as well. If you have any questions or any other things that you want to see on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.